y'all say ha, hit, ha, hit, ha. It gives an opportunity for ignorance to be dismissed. So it gives an opportunity for people that don't know the culture, and that's people of color as well, because everyone comes from different sectors, to get to know different parts of the culture and be able to have the opportunity to say, like, you know, there was an opportunity for you to learn that. So now, what is your excuse now? Because um, a lot of people just speak like they know, but they don't know. And so I can't say I know everything there is to help about hip hop because I don't. I wasn't born at that time and I didn't experience it. But for a lot of people, it's about now this, this is the catalyst. What can we do with this? And we can just move forward to where it doesn't happen just during Black History Month. It can be a year round. Rhythm is in my culture, it's in my blood. So just hip hop is, you know, it's something that I can relate to. It's a way to express myself. And, you know, it's more than people think. You know, it's more than just the music. There's dance, the the knowledge, there's so many different parts to it. And I think it's just, you know, it's, it was an uplifting experience for sure. So hip hop has allowed me to be the person that I am today. I'm 20 years old and I've been listening to hip hop since I was two, growing up to Biggie, um, growing up to, um, all, you know, all the artists. Coming from a really small town in Los Angeles, hip hop was something that all the students were able to connect to. And being a student of color and being someone, you know, being Latina, I was allowed to appreciate my skin and allowed to know that it's okay for me to be pretty and I don't have to be, you know, the cookie cutter magazine girl that everyone else sees. So how it came to be was Aviance, who is one of our um, advisors, so we have Aviance and Paul, um, came to BSU and was challenging us because usually when we do evolution of hip hop, it's just a dance. Um, and she was saying like, hip hop is more than just like a DJ. Like there's other cultures and uh, other cultures and other influences in it. Um, and so she like challenged us to like get the other aspects such as Mama C and Kamal and the step um, and the break dancers to bring it all together and see what would happen. Um, and so I was really nervous, didn't know what to expect. We had a few technical difficulties, but like it just, felt like everyone was engaged and everyone was involved um, and everyone wanted to be there and that's definitely different than some paleo events where people show up and they're like this isn't really what I wanted to do um, but I feel like everyone wanted to be there so that was really cool. <laughs>